we are getting ready to feed the chickens our scraps. I went to our local feed store to get our animals a re-up on their food. And we're back on the farm. Look at these fools. All right, let's do this. Farm chores are not hard, you just always get dirty. So here I am just refilling all of our food containers that make it super easy to feed our animals daily. The local feed store has a really great quality egg maker layer pellet for our girls and they absolutely love it. So I'm grateful for this cheap option. We've got scratch grains, um, some sort of like rooster feed, um, it's all local and then the mealworms and um, I just started doing this today because one mealworms are really expensive and so mixing their scratch um, grains together with the mealworms works best for our family and for our budget but then they also get like fresh food and scraps from us and then I also give them like canned wild caught salmon and tuna and sardines and then we have their egg laying feed here and then we've got the goat's feed, which is just an all stock feed here. And I need assistance here because these are very heavy. So all of our stuff comes onto this glorious little setup. Uh uh. Who built this? Matt. You oh, did, okay. Matt. Had a scrap, just scrap wood. Can you just record how annoying these goats are? Please. This is how I get the boats to get away. Because they love to eat all the chicken food. Let's get these eggs. Look at this. Show right there. Nice. This is all just from today. So let's see how many our girls laid today. She's sitting on a few over there. Like, I think at least four. Could just leave her. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. Crazy. We get to just eat these. It's so cool. It's like Christmas every morning. All right, we're gonna get these back up on here. Setup. This barn was already on our property when we bought our house, but we converted it into our coop and our animal barn. And Matt has built everything with scrap wood that we've found on the side of the road. How many eggs do you think there are in here? 18. I say 24. No, I'm gonna say 21. 21. Okay, okay ready? There's 21 because that one cracked, and then there's another one coming, and then she's about to lay one. So that's how many? 21, 22, 23. Oh, that's 21 in hand. 21 in hand. So I actually have extra tough farm boots that I normally wear, but I'm wearing Nike Dunks, so don't ever do this. But these are our duck ponds. They're just little kiddie pools that we got from Walmart. And every day I have to empty them out, rinse them pretty good, and then refill them with fresh water for our ducks to be able to swim. So the goats love to use these tables to climb up onto this. And usually under here we find snakes or bugs, sometimes rats. Sometimes there's nothing. Let's see. Nothing today. It's time to feed everybody. Let's go and grab their food with Meiku. Hey! Lots of eggs. All right, let's get the goat's food. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, go walk it over. So here I come. Fun fact, I actually cannot stand our goats. We love them, they're part of the family. We feed them, but they do not provide any sort of food or milk. However, Patchouli, the mama, the white goat, is an amazing guard goat for our hens. Scratch. This is Scratch. 
Mm -hmm. And they're warm. Since we have five kids, everybody takes turns on what their duty is on the farm each day. But today, the older kids are at school. So today, Meku is in charge of everything. <laughs> Our puppy in training. Uh, Bubba. You're so dirty. Right here is Chaga and Reishi. These are our barn cats, little females. Chaga and Reishi. I've spent my whole life hating cats, but here on our farm, these cats have a job, and that is to catch the mice and the rats. I know. Paolo. Santo. 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 Patchouli. Patchouli. Theater over there, that's our only rooster. And then all of the hens. All female ducks. These are Indian runner ducks. Willow, Frankie, and Rue. <laughs> and that's what's going down on our farm every day. Watching. And this is my boy.